this looks like I have three meal prep companies right here. It looks like this is going to be the healthiest mukbang ever, if you know what that is. If you do, shame on you. That sounds a lot more disgusting than it actually is, but here I have three meal prep companies because I would love to educate you a little bit on food. So you want to eat healthy, and so you want to learn more about what the best options are out there for you to fuel your fat loss, your healthier lifestyle building muscle, feeling, being, existing as a stronger human being, getting out of the cog or the wheel of the standard American diet. That's incredible. So here I have factor meals, I have trifecta meals, and I have nutrition solutions meals. Now, really quick disclaimer, I have been a client of nutrition solutions for 11 months, and I've tried about maybe five different meal prep services in entirety in, in, over the course of my life in general. Uh, I have been a gym general manager, I've been a personal training director, and uh, working in the gyms you are typically, and believe it or not, LA Fitness, when I used to run the training department there, there was a no eating in the gym and no microwave policy. So I was confined to having to eat shopping center food which is just crazy. Anyway, point being, um, I know what it's like to have the difficulty sourcing your own food, and maybe you don't wanna be one of the people who spends 24 hours a month trying to shop, prepare, grocery shop for, for your food. That just is a day out of your life, a month. It's a lot of time. You could be spending your time doing cooler things like working out and making money and then you know banging your loved one. So way cooler thing. So I've got these three foods here and this, I'm going to be uh, very honest. I was hoping to be significantly less biased, but once I got my two box, my, my, I got factor meals in and I got my trifecta meals in and I got my nutrition solutions meals in, it was really obvious and clear as to which meal prep company is more outstanding than the others. And I have some breakdowns I'd like to share with you as to why, um, and or I should say what kind of decision making should go into finding a meal prep service for you. And I'm hoping that what you take away from this is a little bit of education, knowledge, humor, but also like I'm gonna get right to the point of like what I recommend and why, and which of these is just a fucking sham because it's really a shame that you have companies out here claiming that they're all good, but really they just source everything else out for their bottom line profit. And that's a little upsetting. So here, these three meals, I have some breakdowns for you. What I have is the appearance as to how aesthetically pleasing this food looks because humans typically like to, for their food to look good, at least to them, appetizing. High fat, nice, nice robust colors, and just like that great appeal of just like that food looks like mouth sex. So I have some uh, gradings on appearance, and then I have actual objective gradings on the quality of the nutrition breakdown each of these meals provides you. Now, unfortunately, again, this is gonna become more, it's gonna appear more and more biased as I go along, but I promise you it's not. This is just clearly rooted in fact, and also what is ideal for the fat burn and muscle development and sustainability when it comes to diet and being motivated to eat this way and eat a healthy lifestyle so you don't have to get takeout and look like everyone else out there. So after the macro breakdown, I have a filler and preservative breakdown showing you how much of the ingredients are of them a percentage filler and preservative. And then lastly, I have some unique takeaways and selling points from each of these brands. I'm gonna show you their websites and show you what they look like and just my experience on these. So let's get into it. Number one, the first thing is appearance. Now, actually looking at these, I love how I don't know what my meal is. I have to open it and then for factor meals, I get this nice airplane uh, tray looking ass thing. And that's all right, that's not a problem. I hope that the food tasted good or I hope that the ingredients they use are actually nice and that it doesn't look sort of weird or like um, male subscription dog food. But no, that's actually about exactly what I found. This is by far the bottom of the barrel in terms of food um, 
presentation and aesthetics. Also, the menu items are just a little strange in general. They look weird and they're not very appealing. I also just find this really bad design. It, it just, it just is flippy. It just doesn't look good. I don't know. And what's more disappointing is that a lot of people in my building actually get this meal prep. And I know that these people are just eating like shit. Okay. Not only is the appearance, I'm going to break down the appearance on this first. The appearance for factory meals, I give a fucking two out of 10. This looks like shit. And it, and I, that sounds harsh. Oh, does it look like shit. It just doesn't look good. It just doesn't. I'm spoiled. Trifecta, on the other hand, actually looks great. It looks good. It's actually, it looks appealing. It's colorful. It's robust. It's pretty looking. I see mac and cheese. I, say, I see loaded potatoes. I see meatballs with cheese on it. I see chicken pesto. I see turkey. This looks pretty good. Uh, trifecta, visually, Factor is a 2 out of 10. Trifecta is a nice 10 out of 10. I got to give Trifecta their flowers. It looks really nice. And then lastly, I have my Nutrition Solutions meals. Now, given I'm a little experienced in uh, Nutrition Solutions and what all their menu typically looks like, this also looks very nice. There, you, you see your protein source, you see your carbohydrate source, you see your vegetable source. Nice and colorful palette. You don't just see a bunch of boring colors, you see a lot of good stuff. So why I like uh, both of these uh, trifecta and nutrition solutions, I'm going to rate them both 10 out of 10 on the appearance. They look like good food. It looks good. But then also, fun fact, this is the... In my opinion, because I know the rotation of Nutrition Solutions, this is the worst I've ever seen it. And that's, it's, that's really not bad. <laughs> like this is, th these are my least favorite menu options. And it still looks really good compared to what your options are out there. So uh, Nutrition Solutions, I'm going to give usually a 10 out of 10. This batch I'm going to call maybe like a 7, seven 8 out of 10. Uh, Trifecta looks the best. Now next, the macro breakdown as to what the average stats of the food that I got was. Uh, factor, j just like how it looks, the macro breakdown is also dog shit. I literally, look, don't get me wrong, this is a step up from the standard American diet. But not only does it look like shit, the macros are shit as well. These are the average macros when I plugged it into ChatGPT. I asked it, I said, just along with the, with the preservative and filler count and the seed oil count, uh, which you want to avoid most of these things, if you're really uh, a health hypochondriac, you just, once you learn about it, you're like, maybe I shouldn't have these things. So the average macro breakdown for factor meals is 40 grams of protein, 22 grams of carbohydrates, and then 43 grams of fat. Usually what you want to see is a fairly protein-centric menu. And by protein-centric, that means the dominant nutrient ideally should be protein as well. You know, it's just hence protein-centric. It should be centered and, fit and focused around protein. So the average macros on this, I'm going to give also a 2 out of 10. Is it better than the standard American diet? Yes. But you are literally supposed to be a healthy company. Why does your food selection look like shit? It just looks like food. This is if, of the food meal prep world. This is definitely um, Planet Fitness. America's number one ready to eat meal service. By whose account? By whom? This doesn't, it, 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 it looks like food. It looks good. It looks good. But unfortunately, when you get it, I disagree. Next, so that's factor, factors breakdown. Uh, for macros, 40 protein, 32, uh, uh, 22 carbohydrate, 43 fat. Why is the fat higher than the protein? I think there was like one meal between factor that was higher protein than it was carbohydrates or fats. Anyway, that's, I'm, almost, I'm almost done ripping on these guys, but next we've we got to move into trifecta. Trifecta meals, so they look great. They look really good. The, pro, the, the macro breakdown's okay. It's, it's pretty good. Um, it is 36 protein. The carbohydrates are 36 as well, and the fats are 20. This is all right. This is cool. Not bad. Um, the food looks appealing, and the macros are fine. I like that it, it looks like, by visual appearance, you see protein and you see carbohydrate as the main center focus. Um, it, 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 it's all right. It's okay. It's cool. Then next... Nutrition solutions, I particularly am on the beast plan. The shred plan, 
The shred plan, I, I won't say, um, so there's one, they have the shred plan, it's lower calorie, they have a beast plan, it's a bit higher calorie. And by higher calorie, it's actually what you should be eating on a regular basis. Um, I've been on the shred before, it was lower calorie, just like trifecta, or it was very, it was sort of similar to those macros, but not really. Check out the macros on average for this. Protein, 56. Carbohydrates, 26. Fat, 11. That's ideal. In the game of burning body fat and staying focused and building muscle, you want to eat, I typically suggest, I wish everybody would be eating 45 grams of protein and up per meal. I think we would see obesity disappear. And then don't even get me started on the seed oils, but we're going to come back, we're going to come back to that in a little bit. The macros and calories on this um, or the macro breakdown on nutrition solutions is exceptional. I would trust this. I like this. Next, I have two more categories I'm going to share with you. I'm going to share with you the filler and preservative percentage of how much of these meals each is filler and preservatives. That way you can really understand the value of what you're purchasing. But then also, I'm going to share with you the unique takeaways about what my general summary is of each company. So, um, and I have one more fun thing I'm going to share with you. So, Factors Meals, now if we're going to do the... This is just crazy. I mean, I, I really... I hate to be mean, but these are really shitty. Um, I, it's just, none of it is really whole, is whole food centric. I have honey mustard chicken, and I actually have a honey mustard chicken here as well. I don't mean to get distracted. I got I to gotta get back on track, but this is also just a funny comparison. Honey mustard chicken with green beans and sweet potatoes. Honey mustard chicken. It's pretty, it's pretty substantially different appearance wise. So. Unfortunately, of the ingredients, which the ingredients list for each of these meals is actually quite large, and I think it's because they're a big company. I think that maybe their quality assurance just goes by the wayside when you're large and you become a bit more efficient, if you will. This, these are the ingredients lists. This, that, that's the ingredients list on a factor meal. That's a lot of shit. And that's okay. Is it better than you eating you know, a fried chicken sandwich? This is a, another ingredients list on a factor meal. Well, I got more. This is a, another ingredients list on a factor meal. Jeez, it, it, these are I, I personally don't like them. <laughs> I'm just gonna start. I'm gonna end on that. The percentage of those ingredients. Did you see how like relatively for comparison? This is the ingredients list on the nutrition solutions meal. Um, it's just the meat. It's just the vegetable. It's just what the carbohydrate is, and that's about it. If they have anything added to it, they share it. So check this out. The factor list, f fucking 30%, 30% of, of this meal is filler and preservative and seed oil. 30%. That's basically like, this is freezer food. This is freezer food. This is like, you just took freezer food and you packaged it and you put it on like, what, how do I communicate to my clientele that I feel like they're about to go on a Spirit Airlines flight and then, and then if we were to give them food on that. That would be about it. If I really fucking hated human beings and I didn't want them to get the cleanest possible sourcing of food, I would feed them 30% of the ingredients being fillers, preservatives, and seed oils. That's what I would do. So that's interesting. Uh, now trifecta. Tri trifecta looks good. Trifecta uh, appears to be really nice. It, 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 it genuinely looks good. 31% of their ingredients, and this is the, ing this is the back, and that's, it's, it's, I think a little bit less than factors. But 31%, actually never mind, depends on the menu item. 31% of the ingredients are fillers, preservatives, or seed oils, xanthan gum, high oleic, sunflower acid, sunflower oil. That's just kind of shitty to see, you know? Um, and there's a lot of shit on here, just frankly, I really can't, I don't even know what that is. I, as soon as I saw, because I my eye looks for certain things, I look for oils, I look for and I'll tell you why in a second. I look for oils because I know that that for a bottom line of a company, it is significantly more economic for them to use sunflower oil, safflower, safflower oil in their food 
than re- this is interesting because they actually do use extra virgin olive oil in some of their food, but then they just have some weird shit in here. Um, 31%. So what I do is I look for those different oils and I just go, all right, I just think that you care less about what goes into my body and a little bit more for your bottom line. I think that if you were a true health nut, um, what I would do if I were you, if you really want to learn more about, there's a lot of studies and and research on YouTube that's available, uh, presented by people who you can, they're, they're genuinely interested in understanding the health trends long term. For the last 200 years, since the 1800s, since the industrialization of food, watching what happens when a lot of our calories come from these oils. And it, they're just more difficult for our body to metabolize. That's, that's, that's the bottom line. that It leads to metabolic damage, and which is just the way that you process food. And then you can watch what happens afterwards. Just watch some of these videos. If you spend an hour trying to get good at this, then two hours, then three hours you will start to become what I call a health and nutritional hypochondriac. 31% of the ingredients from Trifecta, preservatives, fillers, or seed oils. Kind of disappointing. Nutrition solutions. Big fat fucking zero. Zero. I could not be more happy and proud. And also pumped to, pumped to say like, I feel this is why I've gotten such exceptional results. If you look up Chris Cavallini, the CEO of Nutrition Solutions, seed oils, you can watch him just beat the shit out of them and also talk about preservatives and fillers. What I like is that someone cares about what they put in someone else's body. I really love that. So that's a big fat zero for zero uh, filler, zero preservatives, and zero seed oils in the food. I like that a lot. Now, Special and unique takeaways from each of these meal prep companies, their unique selling points and what my opinion is on each of these. Um, Let me start with Trifecta. Trifecta appears really good. I like the way that they appear. Um, If I saw Trifecta on Uber Eats, I would really like these. I think that most people should be eating stuff like this. The one thing is that I kind of got that kind of got me is they're definitely trying to appeal to everybody. And I think that when you try to appeal to everybody, you're for nobody. Because I think that when you're in a vacuum of one intention or one result and you're like positive health, like building muscle, looking and feeling great, then you start to not offer certain things like sunflower oil, seed oils, artificial preservatives, and fillers. You just start to, it's very clear that you take a, you take a stand for something. But what I don't like <laughs> is that it looks good, but I think there's also too many decisions that you have to make on their menu. Um, you can go through a couple different options, like picking between, do you want to do uh, add breakfast? Do you want to pick like a certain type of meal. There's a meal prep option where you can add a certain amount of things. And the problem that I have with that is that for most people, they don't even fucking know what they want. They think they know what they want, but they have no fucking clue what they want. And the more decisions you have to make on a, on a repeated basis, the more likely you're to get fatigued to making those decisions and quit. So that's just where I feel like they've got, they, they sell and they market themselves exceptionally well, but I think that they sell and market themselves exceptionally well to everybody. And I think that that puts them in a category where like, they're not as niche or not as specific towards the goal of looking great and feeling amazing. I think what they're trying to do is get the drug addicts of sad American, uh, the, the sad standard American diet off, off the streets. I think that's, that's chill. I think that's, that's mad chill. Good testimonials up here too. These people look great. I'm happy for them. Um, so I think that they look the best and they certainly market themselves the best. Um, factor meals. The user experience on this is, is genuinely really unpleasant. It looks nice, but going through it and then actually picking your stuff, in my opinion, is a little confusing. I just... I also think this looks like HelloFresh, and HelloFresh's macros are dog shit also. So, Factor, I just, it's, I would not 
I would not. I just wouldn't. I wouldn't personally. Nutrition solutions next. And finally, I have never felt more certain and confident in my choice to be using nutrition solutions for a few reasons. One, they are the only meal prep service that I have seen that offers a variety of game meats and nice, actual um, meat that you t don't typically find. Trifecta is all beef, turkey, chicken. And then I think uh, Factor is the same thing and then pork. What I've really liked about Nutrition Solutions is that they actually use really high quality meat. There's filet mignon on the menu, there's elk on the menu, there's bison on the menu. These foods are loaded with a variety of micronutrients that keep you full, satisfied, and optimized in your performance. Um, organ meat, probably one of the most underrated things that I feel like they actually utilize is beef liver that's minced inside of their ground beef. So I know when I see Chop House ground beef on the menu, my ass is getting ground liver inside that ground beef. And I just feel like I'm getting a hug directly from Chris Cavallini. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Uh, also, second to last thing, maybe. I like that they also market themselves as fitness chefs. I think that is really baller. Um, Factors claim to fame is that they are a diet. What does it say? It says chef prepared, dietitian approved. I am really sorry. A dietitian is typically the last person I would trust. That doesn't really sell it to me. <laughs> but anyway, I like fitness chefs because I know they're trying to get jacked. Um, also, I just like the brand. The brand is great and it, makes, it, it lets you know what you're buying and what you're buying is not for a bunch of pussies. I like that a lot. One of the FAQs <laughs> factor. Um, <laughs> Factor and Trifecta both have vegetarian options. This is one question on this FAQ. Do you have vegetarian plants under nutrition, under nutrition solutions? It goes, no. <laughs> I have never seen a vegetarian or a plant-based person that I want to live like. I just don't. I think they're kind of kooky. Um, it's protein, vegetables, carbohydrates, okay? All right, thank you. Uh, last and final thing that I feel like is an exceptional takeaway when it comes to any of these brands, is Nutrition Solutions, why I like them and why I'm proud to use them, but also why I feel confident behind my results that I've gotten with them, is their clean cheats. Clean cheats, you get a login once you start, and you can order protein bars, which these are 20 grams of protein, 37 grams of carbohydrates, 12 grams of fat, made with whole wheat flour, grass-fed whey protein, uh, a natural sweetener that is a sugar alternative, and then the flavor rotates every week for these protein bars. I get 12 every week without fail. They actually just started sending me 16 because I know I'd be shouting their shit out because I'm like, this protein bar beats me ordering Uber Eats desserts every other night. I've, made, I've learned from my mistakes. I've gone, I don't want to add the protein bars. They're like six bucks per. And I'm like, I don't want to because I just I eat them so quickly in a night. And then what I'll do is I'll spend $30 getting Uber Eats desserts. And after like two months of doing that on accident or out of my lower self taking over, I was like, why don't I just get 12 protein bars and eat that every night? And just, again, just call it. And that's why I've been adding my natural ice cream to is these protein bars. Lastly and finally, protein donuts. This shit is awesome. I'm, I'm literally, if, I, if there's a reason why I'm not on drugs anymore, and by drugs I mean sugar and Uber Eats and regret, it is because of these baked goods that they make that are made with high quality protein, coconut oil, and uh, no sugar. That is why I like them. It keeps me feeling clear, fresh, focused, happy and satisfied so that I can do shit like this and I can stay focused and not have unbroken attention or have unbroken attention and feel razor sharp. That's why I can do it. Um, I feel like based on these foods, factor is, oh, one last thing. This is the most important thing, very, very, very uh, thinking exercise. In total, I'm gonna do a CEO comparison in summary. Factor, this is factors CEO. All right, I'm going to go face to face with him. This is Factor CEO. Looks regular. That's cool. And you, you never, you ever, you've heard like you don't want to take financial advice from a broke person. You, don't, you wouldn't take fitness advice from a fat person, right? So naturally, wouldn't you consider what the CEO of the company looks like? Shouldn't he, for a nutrition, for a nutrition preparation company, getting people healthy, I feel like I'd want that person to look like health. 
personally, like look like they're radiating energy, look like they're happy, almost kind of crazy looking. He's all right. Very regular, regular white guy. Very regular. Kind of has a seed oil face. I I wish he had more of a jawline. But that's all right. That's that's Factor CEO. Next, this is the uh, Trifecta CEO. Double chin. I'm sorry. Look, if you have a double chin listening to this, I think that if you run a nutrition service, you shouldn't have one. Oh, he's older. Maybe he's a dad. Look, I'm going to grill this man for a second. All right. Haircut. I feel so mean. I don't mean to be mean, but this is also my show. I do whatever the fuck I want. His haircut's from 2005. Like that, I haven't seen that since I saw Malcolm in the Middle. That's number one. So I definitely wouldn't take haircut advice from him. That's fine. Good thing he's not selling haircuts. But the thing that I'm looking at is the excess fat underneath his chin. And if you have seen this meme before, I have it on my Instagram as to what the difference is when you eat butter versus soybean oil. And what do you know? One of the main ingredients to some of the food, sunflower oil, and then soybean oil. You just get a puffiness about you because your body can't properly metabolize these things. Isn't that crazy? Compared to olive oil, compared to butter, compared to ghee, compared to beef lard, believe it or not, beef lard's actually significantly more nutritious and nutrient dense and actually has health benefits as compared and coconut oil and avocado oil to sunflower and safflower and rice bran, which unfortunately a lot of these big companies use. You, big company. I'm sorry, I get it, but He's healthy, kind of. Like, he's not fat, but he could be optimized. It, se- it seems to me like the next CEO that we need to check out is this motherfucker. <laughs> this is Chris Cavallini. If I were buying food from someone, I don't know. <laughs> you know, like, you know, the um, if you're really, really fit, you get this sometimes, but you get this thing where people ask you about your diet. And they'll tell you about their diet. Like I was at, I was at um, In-N-Out one time uh, meeting with a client and his friend. And his friend is like, and is asking me a ton of questions about how I eat. He's like, how do you, like, because I don't really eat In-N-Out often. He goes, I eat Chipotle. You eat Chipotle, bro? And so, you know, like naturally when you really respect someone, you're like, what do you eat? What do you do? Do you still eat that? I would eat what this guy eats. So that's, that's the CEO comparison. Chris Cavalier, Nutrition Solutions. Greg Connolly, Trifecta. Mike Factor, all bunch of white dudes, one way more jacked and way more ripped than the others, one way more nutrient dense than the others. I'm not trying to fanboy, I'm just trying to be objective and think critically. And in summary, I hope this was useful to you. The main thing I would say in, actually in summary, because I want to make sure that you have some, some f- form of real tangible value that you can extract from this. I'm going to steal what Nutrition Solutions taught me, and I'm going to share it with you. Your meals should be protein-centric. This, this, if, if you want to prepare food for yourself and you want to learn how to be successful and practice feeling great, not crashing after eating, seeing your body fat be used as fuel, and you feel exceptional and see your muscles start to poke through your body and start to see veins come through your body, you need to be eating one to two palm-sized portions of protein per meal. You need to be eating one for lunch and dinner, one at least one fistful of vegetables per meal, lunch and dinner, and then for possibly breakfast, lunch and dinner, you need to have one at, or zero, anywhere between zero to two, zero to two servings of a naturally occurring carbohydrate per meal. A serving for carbohydrates can be a cup fistful like a cupped handful like this, that's one cup of blueberries or one cupped handful of blueberries, one cupped handful of sweet potatoes, one cupped handful of bone marrow infused rice like they have. Protein, vegetables, carbohydrates, fats just come with your best sources of protein like steak, like chicken thigh, uh, like ground beef, like ground turkey. The fats just come with it. These are essential fats. These fats that our body cannot produce on its own, these essential omega-6, omega-3 fatty acids, you need to be eating on a regular basis. Please, I hope that you learned something from this about how to prepare for yourself. Each of these meals, protein, carbohydrate, vegetable. Protein, carbohydrate, vegetable. Protein, carbohydrate, vegetable. Protein, carbohydrate, vegetable. What is the key to your success? Vegetable, fantastic. You can get out of the cog of the wheel. You can. You just got to think and be 
of protein, vegetable, and carbohydrate, natural carbohydrate, consuming motherfucker. And that, my friends, summarizes the comparison between each of these three, three meal prep companies. And I hope that you got some value out of this. Most importantly, I hope that you are crushing it on your fitness journey. And if you are winning, share that with me. I'd love to know what's going on. If you've gotten any value out of this and in some way your life has improved, I can't tell you how fulfilling and meaningful that is to me because I made this a goal. I said I want to be living how I want to live, sharing what I want to share out of the goodness of my heart, out of what made me feel good, and to me, that's food and that's training, and that's what makes you and I alike. We just want to take care of ourselves, do what we want to do. All right? Love you very much. Bye.